What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the best midfielders in FIFA 22 tier list. The support by the way, you guys showed me on the attackers tier list was absolutely unbelievable. So thank you for that. Thank you for everyone that clicked on that video and thank you for everyone that also liked that video as well. Now there is two things I want to say before we get into the tier list. The first thing is no hero cards, no icon cards in this tier list because we all know a Mateus, a Hullet, a Vieira would instantly go into the S tier and that pretty much means other players would have to be left out. So yeah, Hullet, Vieira, Mateus, you're going to get pushed to a side aka icons and hero cards push to a side for now. So we're going to have like player of the month, ones to watches, Champions League cards, in forms and gold cards. I think there's one other card, but I can't really remember which one it is. The other thing I want to tell you guys is the fact that this is my personal tier list. I know there's going to be people that agree with me. I know there's going to be people that, that disagree with me, but that is what the comment section is here for. Feel free to put in the comment section whatever you want about the tier list. If you feel like the tier list is not how you would want it or how you would like it, let's say, then obviously say who would have gone up in your tier list and say who would have gotten down in your tier list as well. But let's get straight into it. Starting off with Paul. Paul's a solid card to be fair to him. He's an all-rounded card, aka a boxer box midfielder. One thing I would have liked on him a little bit better is de definitely the defending stats. I feel like the defending stats on Paul should, well, not should have, but could have been a little bit better. Maybe if he gets a few more informs in the future, or even like a special card, we all know this card would be absolutely fantastic because of how all-rounded he actually is. Party up next, though. Party's a solid defending player. He's not great going forward. He feel pretty good on the ball, which was kind of surprising for me. So Party, hmm. Party's like a, a near a B, but I don't feel like he's going to be there with some of the players that's going to go into that B tier. I feel like Party is not as good as those. So yeah, C tier for Party for now. And Kunkel, and it is going to be his in form. He's a solid player, isn't he? Like, he feels really, really good on the ball. He's got that shooting ability, that pace. He has got defending stats if you give him the right chem style. So Nkunku for me, I feel like he deserves to go into that B tier. But as you clearly can see, we are going to be doing the overlap thing. So there's going to be a lot of players in this tier list. So we're going to have to try to squeeze everyone in, let's say. So yeah, Nkunku goes into the B tier. End on Bele. He's just a player that feels really good on the ball, isn't he? Like, he's not amazing going forward. He's not amazing defensively either. But he feels really good on the ball. So End on Bele, I would honestly say goes into the C tier. Ndidi. The thing about Ndidi, right, is the guy's pace is it is not great. It's straight up. It's not great. The dribbling is not great. The shooting is not great. The, even the passing is okay, let's say. And I believe he's also got like 78 strength to his game. So Ndidi, bro, I'm going to be honest to you, you're going to definitely go into the D tier. I would personally take party over Ndidi. Savage. Savage is a really nice all-rounded card. I feel like his pace is a slight bit of an issue, but if he gets more pace in the future, let's say, I feel like he definitely deserves to go into the A tier. But for now, because that pace isn't anything special, let's say, he goes into the B tier. Moreno. Now, Moreno is a solid all-rounded card. I would 100% take Moreno over a party and an Endombele. So I would put him into the B tier as well. He's just nice all-rounded pretty much. Feels pretty good on the ball. Got good defending stats. Got good physical stats as well. Passing stats is good. As I said, man, all-rounded. Solid card to be fair. And I don't think he goes for a huge amount of coin diva. So if you're trying to build that La Liga team, he's definitely one to watch. So yeah, B tier for him. McKenny. He's all right, I would suppose. Like, once again, man, nice all-rounded, isn't he? But He's not better than Moreno. No chance. So yeah, McKenny, you are going to go into the C tier. Lorente, for me, one of the best midfielders in this entire game. And you could argue the best. But Lorente, no doubt about it, he's going to go into the S tier. I can't believe how good this card actually is, by the way. Moving on to Lamer, though. Lamer's are right, I suppose. There's nothing like crazy about him, though, is there? Nah, I don't think I'll take him over a Moreno. I'll, I'll put Lema into the C tier. Let's move him over. So he fits. There you go. Kimmich. First informed Kimmich. All right. The thing about Kimmich, he's got great passing ability. He also feels good on the ball, which is understandable. He's a 5'9 player. But his pace is a slight bit of an issue. I don't feel like Kimmich deserves to go into the A tier, especially with some of the players that's going to go into the A tier. Yeah, for me, Kimmich is a B tier player. Kessie, on the other hand, though, he is serious. I can't believe, by the way, how good this gold Kessie card actually is. Do I believe he is better than a Lorente? I don't. I'm going to be honest. I straight up don't. But Kessie, no doubt about it. He definitely goes into the A tier. N'Golo Kante, another player you could argue 
is one of the best midfielders in this entire game. Angolo, bro, no doubt about it. You're going to go into the S tier. Gwenduzi, a card that actually came out yesterday. Once again, nice all-rounded card. He isn't anything crazy, I would say. But Gwenduzi, for me, I would say goes into the B tier. Let's move him over. There you go. Graven Birch. I've seen like the potential this card actually has, by the way. He could become an 86 overall. And that right there would be absolutely insane. Now, Graven Birch, right now, I feel like he's a B tier player. But if he goes up to like an 84 or even an 86, he, you could argue, not argue, you could say A tier, but then you could even argue S tier. Like, trust me, this Graven Birch card, if he gets the right upgrades, let's say, he could be up there. He definitely could. But for now, because he's an 82 overall, which isn't anything crazy when it comes down to the stats as well, I would personally put him into the B tier. But yeah, 84, 86, A tier, S tier, 100%. Go Sins. Now, you could be questioning, also, why have you got a left mid in here? This guy really isn't a left mid. He just isn't, right? He's got great defending stats. He's got good physical stats as well. Where would I personally put Go Sins? I would put him into the C tier. I would. I would take like a Gwenduzi, a Graven Birch in that sentiment, that CDM position over Gosins. But he definitely is a nice, uh, nice little card to have in the midfield. Goretzka. Okay. Okay, come on. You already know what's going to happen, man. Another insane, insane midfielder in this game. These three, by the way, they dominate that sentiment, that CDM position. They really do, man. They're so good at going forward and they're absolutely outrageous at defending as well. So, yeah, Goretzka, N'Golo, Lorente, 100% into the S tier. Fred. Now, a lot of people might question where I'm about to put Fred, okay? But I can tell you right now, this guy in game is an absolute joke. He is like the B tech N'Golo Kante. I know IRL, you would never, ever say that. Let's be honest. You'll never say that IRL. But in game, he honestly is. So Fred, I am going to put him into the B tier. I know some people was like, no, surely you ain't going to put him into the A tier. No, okay, he's not that good. All right, let's relax a little bit. But yeah, B tier, when it comes down to the Fred. For Fana, I've heard, by the way, this guy could be getting the League of Player play of the month card. If he does, outrageous card. Seriously outrageous. But for Fana, I'm going to put him into the B tier. But he's League Un play of the month card. If he ends up getting it, a or S tier, no doubt about it. His stats would be absolutely ridiculous. Bruno Fernandes, ooh. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This Bruno Fernandes card is very good this year, but I would personally take a Lorente and a Gretzka over him. So Bruno Fernandes, bro, you are going to go into the A tier. Fakir, ah, oh, this card's an absolute joke. And the thing about Fakir, right, is when I reviewed him, his dribbling stats were actually worse than after the review. Like, you would think, what are you on about, Ozio, right? But they apparently released Fakir in-game with minus one dribbling stats. I don't know what happened, but after the review, they actually gave him a plus one. But Fakir, no doubt about it, with every shooting trait you ever won in life, he is going to be an S-tier card. I know he's not exactly great at defending. Well, he's, defending is non-existent, let's all be fair, right? But he is so, so good going forward to the point where you have to put him into the S-tier. Fabinho... Very similar player, let's say, to Ndidi, isn't he? Where Ndidi doesn't feel great on the ball. Fabinho doesn't either. Pace is not great on both of them. Shooting is not great on both of them. Passing, Fabinho has obviously got better, no doubt about it. But I feel like Fabinho near enough on the same level as Ndidi, honestly. So Fabinho, yeah, D tier for me. Delaney, not a bad card. But not a outstanding card, let's say. I personally would take a Graven Birch over a Delaney. So Delaney, bro. You are going to go into the C tier. De Jong. Oh, a lot of people actually don't like De Jong this year. And I'm like questioning a lot. What's happening here? De Jong for me is a fantastic, fantastic card. So yeah, he is going to go into the A tier. I don't feel like he's on a level of, as Lorente or Goretzka. But yeah, A tier, no doubt about it. KDB, same situation as Bruno Fernandes, right? Where I don't feel like, the, they, like these players are on the level as like Lorente and Goretzka. But I feel like they're definitely up there, right? He's finesse shots, by the way. KD's finesse shots, pff, broken in this game. Seriously broken. You go for a finesse shot at a right angle, it's flying in the back of the net. Even if you don't green time it. So yeah, KDB, A tier for me. Emery Chan. Emery Chan's a solid card, to be fair. Like, his physicality is nice. His defending is nice. He actually feels pretty good on the ball as well. So I would personally take him over like a Lamer. I would take him over McKenney. And I would take him over Delaney. He's got more pace than Party as well. So yeah, Emery Chan, honestly goes into the B tier for me. K 
Camavinga. The thing about Camavinga, right? This guy hasn't got anything ridiculous when it comes down to his stats. But how he plays in game is no joke. So Camavinga, for me, no doubt about it, goes into the B tier. Bellingham, inform Bellingham. A card that I personally thought was going to get the team of the week upgrade, by the way. Like, they, they literally used it as an example on how the team of the week upgrade actually works. Then Bellingham actually gets the inform. They don't give him one. Well, what's happening, EA? Well, what's happening here? Like, why would you not give Bellingham a team of the week upgrade? It would have been unbelievable. Or even like Gwendouzi. Gwendouzi would have been an unbelievable card as well. But Bellingham is a fantastic card, no doubt about it. So I believe he goes into the B tier. Barella, oh, this card's saucy. Now, do I believe he's an S tier player? I don't. But A tier, no doubt about it, man. He is absolutely ridiculous in game. Andre. Hmm. I'm, I still can't believe, by the way. They did this as an objective card. I really can't because I, I just can't see them getting out of the group. And I can't see them winning three out of the next four games either. So, Andre, bro, I'm going to be honest to you guys. Uh, honest to you, sorry. You're going to go into this C tier. I understand we're not, like, ranking it off, like, the wins and stuff like that of IRL. But I don't think he's a really fantastic player. I really don't. Like, the thing about Fred, he doesn't play like his stats in game. He really doesn't, right? Well, Andre he's just so weird in game i feel like he doesn't feel great on the ball i feel like he hasn't got an extreme amount of pace either so yeah andre bro you're gonna go into the c tier some people may disagree with that but once again it is my personal tier list so yeah i feel like he deserves to go into the c alan on the other hand though i actually think he is better than andre low key so alan is gonna go into the b tier i don't know something about this alan card it's like something about fred as well where their stats don't look anything crazy but in game they really really do perform so yeah alan goes into the b tier for me zacharia now i understand right going forward he may not give you an extreme amount of options right but defensively he is the best for me the best cdm in this entire game how much of a joke this guy is i like Running towards players, having like high aggression, putting in tackles is a joke. So Zachary, I believe, deserves to go into the A tier. S tier, I feel like he's pushing it. But yeah, A tier, no doubt. Vert, oh, another player in the month that I actually enjoyed. He's a fantastic card going forward, isn't he? But do I believe he's anything great defensively? I don't. But at the same time, it's like I've put KDB in there. And honestly, Vert is a better dribbler than KDB, isn't he? He's got not a better shot than him, but he's still got a pace on him. I say Vert goes into the A tier. I, I don't feel like, you know, you should be disrespectful for Vert just because he's got, like, not so great defending stats. Because you put this guy in a cam position and you already know he's going to cause some damage. So, yeah, Vert's A tier for me. Wijnaldum. Now, this is a questionable, a questionable one, right? Because would I sit there and take a Kessie over a Wijnaldum? I would. I really would. But at the same time, this Wijnaldum card is not bad. So it's really questionable where I put him. But the thing is, I don't believe he's an A tier card. I don't. But at the same time, I don't believe he's a B, a B tier card. So if I had to make a B plus tier, he would 100% go into it. But for now, Wijnaldum, you're going to go into the B tier. Vidal, no doubt about it though, A tier. Th there's, that's, you know, that's straight up. Like, Vidal's a ridiculously good card. So yeah, A tier for him. Very out. Hmm. I mean, he's, he's a pretty good card. I would say he's pretty much on the same level as like a Lamar. So, Vera out, bro. You are going to go into the C tier. Valverde. Some people may question this, but I love Valverde in this game. I think he's one of the best gold midfielders in this... Uh, gold midfielder, sorry. In this entire game. So, Valverde, for me, you're going to go into the A tier. You really are, man. Like, I would take a Valverde. I'm telling you guys right now, over every single individual into that B tier. I really would. Tonali, I mean, I've put Vidal up there, right? So I need to put, uh, I need to put your boy Tonali. I understand they're not exactly the, you know, the same player, but Tonali is just way better going forward than Vidal, and Vidal is better defensively than Tonali. So yeah, Tonali into the A tier. Till, he's an all right card. I must admit, like he's not terrible, but I don't feel like there's anything special about him. He's just like a really nice all-rounded player. So, yeah, Till, bro, I'm going to put you into the B tier. I don't feel like he's, he deserves to go into the A tier. To Shomane. I love this guy, IRL, by the way. Literally love him. Like, he is absolutely ridiculous, IRL, every single time I watch him. But to Shomane's in-form card, very nice all-rounded. I'll put him into the B tier. As you see, we're, um you know, missing uh, some spaces. So, you're going to have to overlap the B box, let's say. Sozoko. 
same thing as Ndidi, right? Same thing as like a Fabinho. Like, I would love Sissoko every other, other, you know, every other year, right? It's just... He doesn't really offer you much, and he really doesn't feel great on the ball. He feels terrible on the ball, but tackling, he's got it. Physicality, he's got it. But Sissoko, because he doesn't really offer you anything else, I would put him into the D tier. So, mm, he's an interesting card, but honestly, I'll take Paul over him, so he's going to go into the C tier. Sabitza, absolutely fantastic card, but I don't feel like he's an A tier player. I would put him into the B tier as well. We're going to have to squeeze this in. There you go. Renato Sanchez. The thing about Renato, right? He doesn't he doesn't play like his stats. He really doesn't, man. This guy plays like he's an 85, 86 overall. It's an absolute joke how good he plays. So Renato Sanchez, I feel like deserves to go into the A tier. Paul Pogba as well. Honestly, previous years, I didn't like Paul Pogba. Like straight up, I didn't like him. But this year, he's solid. He definitely is. So Pogba, bro, you are also gonna go into the A tier. Paulinho, is this going to be our last card? It is going to be our last card. Where does Paulinho go? Hmm. I mean, he's quite a similar player to Party, right? Where they ain't got like a huge amount of pays. I feel like, yeah, Paulinho's got a better shot on him, but this is going to be a questionable one. I feel like B tier might be the way to go. But then at the same time, I would personally take a Wijnaldum over Paulinho, wouldn't I? So yeah, Paulinho for me is going to go into the C tier, but that is going to be it for the best midfielders in FIFA 22 tier list. We're going to go through this one more time just to make sure I personally feel like everyone should be where they deserve to be, let's say. So, Lorente, Angolo, Goretzka, Fakir, no doubt about it. I wouldn't touch that. No chance. They're all into the S tier. Kessi, fantastic player. Fernandez, De Jong, the KDB, Brella, Zakaria, Vert, Vidal, Valverde, Tonali, Renato Sanchez, Paul Pogba. I feel like everyone there deserves to go into the A tier as well. This is where it becomes a little bit questionable though. So Bits, I feel like is a B tier player. Same as Tushimani, same as Paul, same as Nkunku, Savage, Moreno, Kimmich, Gwenduzi, Gravenberch. If he gets an upgrade or like uh, two upgrades, let's say to an 86, A tier, no doubt about it. Fred, Fofana, if he gets the League Un player of the month, A tier as well, maybe even S tier. Emre Chan, Kamavinga, Bellingham, Allen, Wijnaldum. Honestly, Wijnaldum is the only one I'm questioning. It really is. I'm going to put Wijnaldum here. So we're going to create a B plus just for him, okay? Uh, just literally just for him. I feel like he's a fantastic player in game. I really do. So I don't feel like he deserves to go into the B tier. I'll put B plus. Party and Dombele, McKinney, Lamar, Gosens, Delaney, Andre. I feel like maybe I'm disrespecting Andre a little bit. But it's like, it's in game, man. It really is. Like, his stats might not look too bad, but it's in game that I don't really like him. Very out, Sayul. You got your boy Paulinho as well. And Didi, Fabinho, Suzoko at the bottom as well. For me, I feel like that's the perfect midfielders tier list. I understand there's going to be people that agree. There's going to be some people that disagree. But that is what the conversation is here, here for. Feel free to disagree with me. Feel free, feel free, sorry, to agree with me as well. Just let me know what you guys think in a conversation. Let me know, let me know what you guys feel like maybe players should be going higher maybe players should be going lower but i hope you guys did enjoy the video either way make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace